Hi, my name is Abhiram and I'm the Chief Strategy Officer for Thyssen Group for Asia Pacific. Today, I'm going to talk to you about IoT or Internet of Things. How does IoT work? Any IoT system has typically five components. The first one, as we talked about, is the physical object. It could be a human being, it could be a machinery. It is the basic device which you're trying or basic object which you're trying to read some information about. The second component is a sensor. It could be electrical sensor, optical sensor, a motion sensor, which helps in generating data and converting a physical trigger into a digital signal, which can be read. The third aspect then is a communication network. It could be a Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, as we are commonly aware, or another solution which helps to read and transmit the data from the sensor to a central storage device which brings us to the fourth aspect, which is a central storage device, where you need to consolidate all this data, aggregate it, and then perform some analysis on top of it. And finally, the last aspect is analysis and subsequent action of this data, which is using this data, how can you provide some predictive uh, advisory and take some actions uh, outside. These days, you also see integrated platforms like Microsoft Azure, Amazon Web Services or Google Cloud Platform, which try and integrate all these five steps into one so that it makes it easier for the developer to carry out these tasks and also improves the speed and efficiency of performing such solutions and, and, and analysis. For you, why should you bother about IoT? To give you some numbers, the global IoT market is estimated to be $1.1 trillion of spend by 2023, in five years from now. To put that in perspective, that is more than the GDP of Singapore, Philippines, and Malaysia combined today. Also, if you compare with other technologies, this is 10 times the estimated market for artificial intelligence, or 100 times the estimated market for blockchain. So clearly, the opportunity and the market potential is huge. Second, when you look at the applications of IoT across various sectors, the top sectors are actually in automotive, in personal wellness, and then your healthcare. And finally, smart homes, smart cities, smart industries, smart factories. And all of these are quite relevant for the insurance industry. In fact, if you look at the current and the more uh, forward-looking insurance companies today, they're already trying to understand a few questions on how can they use IoT uh, and apply it to their business. For example, one aspect of this is how can I use the additional data I generate either from an automotive uh, car or about a person and more dynamically and more accurately calculate my insurance premiums rather than relying on the traditional you know, aspects around the age and the demography and the race and, and the typical uh, data points you capture. Can I now start tracking, for example, the number of steps that person is taking, which indicates to me how healthy he is or how active he is and have a better insurance premium uh, calculated for him compared to somebody else who has a very sedentary lifestyle. Another aspect of IoT in insurance is how can I use this additional sensors and additional data which I generate to better serve my customers, to simplify the underwriting process, to simplify the claim process, and also to better predict frauds uh, in insurance industry. Because now I have a lot more data points about my target customers, potential customers, than what I had in the past. And finally, the uber question of all is who is the right owner of this data, which brings us into the legal and compliance debate. So if I'm wearing a smartwatch and I'm generating data out of it, who is the right owner? Is it the watch manufacturer? Is it the person whose data is being tracked? Or is it the insurance industry which has provided a health insurance to this consumer? Who is the right owner? So these are some interesting questions which already a lot of players are trying to answer for themselves and there are a variety of use cases and applications already established of IoT in the insurance industry. 
I hope this video gives you a brief introduction of IoT and how it could be useful in your profession. I strongly encourage you all to find out more about it. All the best.